सोशल मीडिया पे स्पेशली इंस्टाग्राम पे एक रेस ही चलती रहती है अक्सर कि किसके बच्चे को कितनी ज्यादा चीजें पता है लाइक like, uh, किसी को प्लैनेट्स uh, के बारे में पता है किसी को पूरे यूनिवर्स के बारे में पता है डोंट नो या फिर किसके पास कितनी ज्यादा बुक्स हैं कितना ज्यादा पढ़ता है कितना कम टीवी देखता है एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो ऐसी चीजें uh, हमारी जैसी बहुत सारी मॉमीज को बॉदर भी करती हैं कि हमें लगता है ओ हमारा किड जो है वो पीछे रह गया है ऐसा मुझे भी लगता था और अभी भी लगता है कभी कभी ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं लगता है तो ये सारी चीजें लॉन्ग रन में बच्चों की कितनी हेल्प करती हैं करती भी हैं कि नहीं करती हैं और बच्चों को रेस करने के बड़ा करने के और क्या अच्छे तरीके हो सकते हैं इसके बारे में मैंने बात करी मौसमी से सो मौसमी इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट इंस्टाग्राम मॉमीज जो बच्चों के साथ यू नो फन ओपन एंडेड एक्टिविटीज करती हैं और उनके बारे में शेयर करती हैं मुझे उनका उनके बच्चों को रेस करने का तरीका बहुत अच्छा लगता है इट इज वेरी ओपन माइंडेड प्लस उनको बहुत सारी इंडिपेंडेंस देना और टू हेल्प दम एक्सप्लोर शी इज जस्ट फैंटेस्टिक एंड अगर आप उनको इंस्टाग्राम पे फॉलो करते हैं आर्ट वेंचर टेल्स उनका हैंडल है अगर आप उस पर उनको फॉलो करते हैं तो यू विल लव इट द वे शी इज ब्रिंगिंग अप हर किड्स और वो उनकी छोटी छोटी बातें शेयर करती रहती हैं कि उसने क्या सोचा क्या बोला उनके बच्चों ने तो द वे देअ किड्स थिंक इट ब्लोज माई माइंड सो दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन विल हेल्प यू इन डिसाइडिंग योर प्रायोरिटीज इन रेजिंग योर किड्स so uh, do listen to it and let's get inspired together hey there welcome to little fixes a podcast for the sassy classy and a little choosy bharatiya nari this is mathi main aur mere guests share karte hain simple practical ideas jo aap easily follow kar sakte hain to get closer to the kind of life you want to live we talk about career self care social media tips parenting relationships and so much more to help you thrive All of this is mixed with a lot of laughter. So my lovely friend, continue what you're doing and join me in this real talk. Okay, so aaj little fixes mein again I am thrilled I am excited to welcome an amazing guest. I am here with Moshmi from Art Venture Tales. So Moshmi ko I know from फॉर मैनी ईयर्स जब से इंस्टाग्राम पर आई बीन है मैंने उनको फॉलो किया देखा कि वो कैसे पेरेंटिंग करती हैं कैसे वो अपने बच्चों को इंगेज करती हैं तो शी हैज़ बीन वेरी इंस्पायरिंग इन दैट सेंस ऐसा नहीं है कि मैंने कोई एक्टिविटी फॉलो करी हो बट आई हैव बीन वेरी इंस्पायर्ड बाई द वे शी पेरेंट्स तो फाइनली आई थाट कि चलो मौशमी को लिटिल फिक्सेस पर बुलाते हैं और आप सबको भी सुनना चाहिए उनके व्यू आई वेलकम यू मौशमी ऑन लिटिल फिक्सेस Thank you, Maitri. Thank you so much, and I'm equally excited to be here because I think I've known you also for a very long time. So it's just fun to have a chat with someone who I think is really cool, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, is a really cool parent as well. I mean, you're humorous, and that I think is the underpin of all kinds of parenting. So, <laughs> parenting का दुख होता है ना वो humor से बाहर आ जाता है. Seriously, I mean, if you can't see the light side of the humorous side of parenting, I think it's just a hard job, right? Ah uh-huh. ha, yes, 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 it is. Ah, and Moshmi, के बारे में I really don't know a lot because वो अपनी parenting journey share करती हैं, अपने morning runs share करती हैं. So, Art, first of all, I would like to know कि who is Moshmi beyond being a mom to her amazing, amazing kids. So, Moshmi, आप अपना personal intro please दीजिए थोड़ा सा कि आप क्या करते थे? What was your maybe your education or your job? थोड़ा सा अपने बारे में बताइए because I'm really intrigued. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> okay. So, um, I have a background in psychology and interior design mm-hmm. from okay. my graduation days, and I moved. Uh, further into the psychology field, so I took up market research and I did advertising. Mm-hmm. So I have over sixteen years of experience with advertising, events, PR, and then into IT marketing. So while I was with marketing and you know doing advertising and all that, I kind of lost touch with my creative side. So when I took a break after my second second child came came um, came into the picture, mm-hmm. I thought, why not focus on the creative side of things? <laughs> and see you know how um how you can actually help children think for themselves mm-hmm. instead of waiting for instructions from a teacher from a parent and you know just just apply their own mind and do their own thing mhm okay interesting actually mujhe na marketing bahut creative lagta hai kyunki mujhe zyada samajh mein nahi aata hai it is 
not uh, in my uh, education or anything mm-hmm. to mujhe lagta hai ya marketing it is a very creative thing to do kyunki uh, aapko bahut sari cheeze sochni hoti hai <laughs> mujhe lagta hai ki jo cheez hum log karte rehte hain we don't find it uh, that fulfilling after a point maybe correct that is one thing and the other thing is you know once you've uh, established a company then you are less likely to take a risk mm-hmm. and when you're creative you're often taking risks mm-hmm. and some of them might uh, work some of them might fail Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So you're yes. not prepared for failure, and that's something we teach our kids also very early, right? Uh-huh. Like you have to get a certain amount of marks, and you have to. <laughs> so even when I was leading teams in marketing and in really large companies, the people mm-hmm. who came into the team would be like, "So what do we do? So how does this work?" I'm like, "Why don't you guys try and figure it out? Mm-hmm. Right? Why mm-hmm. don't you just trial and error it? Try mm-hmm. it, and if you make a mistake, we'll tell you." Mm-hmm. but we are not prepared for that because even as children we are often told ki you know you have to get so many marks you have to pass you can't uh-huh. afford to fail yes yes aur jo bataya gaya hai keep following that ha keep following that no mm-hmm. <laughs> so i think that that's a, that's that was something that irked me because i thought ki you know when if you are everyone is the same thinking the same way mm-hmm. we are never going to really get out of that mold mm-hmm. yahi karna chahiye aise hi karna chahiye Hmm. So what happens when you take children out of that idea and tell them do what you want? Mm-hmm. So this is this is the outcome. Mm-hmm. Maybe you know you should you should uh, maybe a seven year old you're like okay this is your school this is these are the classes you need to do mm-hmm. so decide what you want to choose what you want to be good at and go after it. Hmm. ऐसा होता तो आई थिंक हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम वुड हैव बीन कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट So oh. what if your parent mm. tells you that right so what if your parent tells you you don't have to get high marks and everything just uh-huh. focus on what interests you right right and uh, i think you are trying to apply this to your to the way you parent your kids yeah so i don't know if i can apply it entirely mm-hmm. you know all of us are still ruled by society's you know mm-hmm. demarcation of how things work mm-hmm. but to a large extent yes so i um and that's why i focus on process a lot So um uh, a lot of times it's like oh ye art hai to ye log artist ban jayenge I'm like no it's not about art acha mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's not about making them artists right it's mm-hmm. it's about giving them a perspective mm-hmm. so it's about being able to fail so my older child now doesn't really do too much of art mm-hmm. what he does is he's um into making he's into electronics he does a lot of those things he's into gaming so he is able to code mm mm-hmm. Okay. He can. He loves to make weird things with his Legos. I have. Uh, I. I can't even imagine the things he comes up with. So, mm. and I. And he doesn't even look at the booklet. He. He doesn't wow. like to follow instructions. I'm like, fine. Mm. You do. You do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, so yeah. I think that also helps in the fact that in even in school he chooses to focus on a few subjects which he likes. Uh huh. So I don't put the pressure on him to be able to like do everything perfectly. Right. 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 Wow. Okay, so uh, you said that uh, you uh, enjoy the process. You prefer the process, and your bio in Instagram bio also says uh, "process art enthusiast." So, uh, <laughs> what is process art exactly? See, process art is. Um, I mean, this was a bio that I created. I don't know uh, two years ago. So, mm-hmm. I mean, of course, we have evolved from that. Mm-hmm. But I still say that I focus on the process, be it play, be it uh, being outdoors, or mm-hmm. uh, you know, the art that we do. Mm-hmm. the process art part of it actually refers to the fact that you're not worried about the outcome you're not looking Ooh, at a picture yeah. that you want to put up on the wall mm-hmm. what you are looking at is helping your children understand how various methods and techniques work mm-hmm. so i i can help uh, you know the kids make stamps with cardboard and mm-hmm. we spend a whole day doing it so we cut we stick and then we paint over it and then we stamp on it so this is like a whole process Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes we try to do volcanoes in a bottle, like you know, you just try to um, make the whole two bottles together, and you try to twist them apart. And mm-hmm. you will often hear um, both the kids saying, "Oh no, we failed. Let's oh. do it again." So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so the idea that you can fail and it's okay to fail, mm-hmm. but you're just going to get right up and get back to it, right? So. I think that is what they really learn with this whole process part of it, whether it's art. it's play or whatever it is right that they're working with 
and mm-hmm. they also think that you know when you read something you quickly go and want to try it out like experimentation uh-huh. wow <laughs> so <laughs> i mean i've been in advertising for so long or marketing mm-hmm. for so long that i'm like you know it's it's not about what you read the real world is very different you know the real world has a lot of different factors mm-hmm. so things some things might work the way the book tells you some things may not mm-hmm. and that's okay mm-hmm. okay इट इज अ वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव टू मी जो भी आपने बोला ना कि ऐसे ऐसे कर सकते हैं आई आई डोंट रियली थिंक मच अबाउट कि मुझे क्या करना है आज के दिन में या क्या स्ट्रक्चर देना है इवन आई थिंक यू डोंट हैव स्ट्रक्चर काइंड ऑफ डे सो वॉट इज योर पेरेंटिंग फिलोसफी देन जैसे अभी आपने बताया कि यू लेट देम डू वट दे वॉन्ट तो देर इज सम एक्सपेंशन इन दिस ऑल्सो Um, so if you ask about the single parent parenting philosophy i have it's to have fun you mm-hmm. know really uh-huh. because i for me my memories of being with my own family i think are the really fun times we had the traveling or the fun you have as a family together mm-hmm. the dinner conversations or you know watching a good movie together or just doing things together right so that mm-hmm. fun aspect where um i know the whole day is not going to look like look look like it's fun right right but at the end of the day when you just before you go to sleep so instead of saying what have i been grateful for thankful for i know that's uh, i mm-hmm. i do that for myself but for the kids i'm like when did you have the most fun today or you know what was more, most fun about your day today mm-hmm. so then they kind of remember the two things they did they'll say uh, you know amma when you um, made this really nice snack for us that was really fun Mm-hmm. or you know when we played this game that was really fun or when we went out that was really fun so i think my parenting philosophy in a word would be having fun with the kids or you know creating experiences that are fun for the children mm-hmm. wow so uh <laughs> fir <laughs> itna aap ye sab kar rahe ho apne kids ke liye you are giving so much of time to them तो वट डू थिंक कि इसका बेनिफिट क्या होगा बिकॉज मैनी पीपल विल से ठीक है अभी आप स्कूल में आप यू आर नॉट प्रेशरिंग योर किड कि आपको ये करना है या ये करना है बट uh, जो फाइनली uh, जो स्कूलिंग सिस्टम है इट विल आस दैम कि यू हैव टू स्कोर अ सर्टन वे आपको ए लाना है सब में तो वट डू थिंक कैसे मतलब इट विल वर्क विद दिस सिस्टम so uh, <laughs> you know the funny thing is i don't mm. think uh, what i am doing would essentially go against the system uh-huh. right so i i probably think by the time they are 10 my kids are going to be doing pretty well in their um, uh, education right mm-hmm. or in the schooling system most likely simply because they have a certain exposure mm-hmm. and they have a certain way of thinking which naturally makes them slightly competitive right और yeah. हम लोगों का वही ये जनरेशन का जो पेरेंट्स हैं ना जो वर्किंग पेरेंट्स हैं उनका ऑलरेडी एस्टेब्लिश हो चुका है कि आपका एक्सपोजर एक एक टाइप का हो ही हो ही है मतलब द किड्स राइट दे ऑलरेडी हैव अ सर्टन एक्सपोजर सो द बेसिस ऑफ यू नो सक्सेस हैज ऑलरेडी बीन लेड सो नाउ यू आर ओनली कम्पीटिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ मार्क्स इन एट स्कूल लेवल राइट Hmm. so that may or may not happen and that may or may not happen across everything like you might be an all rounder like we call them mm-hmm. in sports studies everything uh-huh. or you might have find a niche and you might go after it uh-huh. right but at the end of this i feel like almost all these kids that we have in this generation are going to have a successful career or will at least be eligible for a successful career mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but what will differentiate them is their positive attitude to that career and the fact mm-hmm. that they bring a certain individual thinking to it mm-hmm. right if we cut everybody from the same cloth and we send them into the workforce mm-hmm. I, everyone has a b uh, everyone has an engineering degree right <laughs> everyone has maybe got the masters of engineering mm-hmm. from a great college mm-hmm. so what is it that differentiates them as a person in, right. in the workforce right mm-hmm. and that boils down to attitude initiative leadership these kind of things mm-hmm. and confidence maybe Yes. So I think that is what parenting should really focus on more than your education and marks and all of that. Mm-hmm. How are you building the personality of that child? Mhm. How are you letting them find for themselves? ओके सो कभी आपके साथ ऐसा हुआ मतलब आपको कभी कोई मिला हो चाहे वो सोशल मीडिया पे या रियल लाइफ में उसने आपकी वे ऑफ पेरेंटिंग को क्वेश्चन किया हो या उस पे अपना वैल्यूएबल फीडबैक दिया हो? <laughs> <laughs> अरे मैं ही क्वेश्चन करती हूँ अपनी पेरेंटिंग को ओके 
exactly like I teach my kids, right? Now, if I put a benchmark to what success, how successful I'm going to be. Hmm. And again, you know, I'm like, see, all of us who are raising children now have no benchmark. We are mm-hmm. saying a certain type of parenting will work. We are saying mm-hmm. that a certain type of parenting or a certain, um, you know, teaching kids early might work. But we don't know that to be true. Mm. So I, uh, my thing is, you know, 15 years from now, I want to meet all these Instagram kids and mm-hmm. see what their early exposure has done for them as people, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That would be interesting. That would be an interesting yes, study to, yes, yes. to have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not questioning it. I, yeah. I have nothing against mm. it. I'm, I'm all for it. In mm. fact, you know, I'm so for it that so much of exposure these kids are getting simply because we moms are so competitive and so educated Mm-hmm. that we are bringing all that education back into our parenting styles and mm-hmm. i think that itself is great for the kids right mm-hmm. okay so uh, maybe dekhti hu instagram pe dekhti hu to initially uh, when i started this instagram thing i used to see everywhere ki uh, log kya kya activities kara rahe hain yaar uske bacche ko ye aata hi aata hai and my daughter is 3 usko itna kuch nahi aata she has just started school wo bhi ab online hi ho gaya uska first day se she is learning online jo bhi hai to she doesn't know a lot but usse bhi chote chote bachcho ko shayad बहुत सारी चीजें आती हैं दे कैन फॉर्म इवन लेट वर्ड्स तो आई एम लाइक कि पहले मुझे बहुत लगता था फिर धीरे धीरे रियलाइज कि uh, नहीं आई थिंक uh, सबका अपना अपना स्टाइल है तो hmm. so, uh, जैसे और मुझे एक तरफ ये भी लगता है कि व्हेन ऑल दीज किड्स आर इन स्कूल कंसिडरिंग हर एजुकेशन सिस्टम मुझे लगता है कि सब एक लेवल पे आ जाएंगे आ ही जाएंगे <laughs> <laughs> मतलब टीचर्स का तो वही काम है ना दे हैव द जॉब टू pick 40 mm-hmm. kids and bring mm-hmm. them all to the same level by the time uh-huh. they are in second class right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah. one way or the other it happens mm-hmm. but the way you are doing it uh, जो अपने बच्चों को आप जैसे भी सिखा रहे हो आई थिंक उससे जो उनका एक्सपोजर एज यू सेड या फिर उनकी जो कंपिटेटिवनेस है जो कहते हैं ना माइंड ओपन हो जाता है आई थिंक दे हैव इट बेटर तो इट विल हेल्प इन अदर वेज राइट um uh, see you know when you make a mistake even when you make a mistake right if you do mm-hmm. it with confidence i feel like there is a lot of difference in the way it's perceived mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. then when someone who, feel, who feels really bad about a mistake right if you're learning mm-hmm. from it so the uh-huh. thing about process art is it's not just about oh i made a mistake now now let's drop it that's not how it is it uh-huh. is ki you know you make a mistake acha theek hai ye ho gaya so let's go back and try another way of doing it right or maybe i'll tweak it a little bit and I, this will work So it is until you get the outcome you are looking for mm-hmm. not someone else is telling you to but until you get the thing that you are looking for you're going to keep trying mhm and this idea of keep trying i think is like very important mm, wow even i need to learn this because uh, i am learning it slowly mere sath bhi yahi hota hai ki initially i used to give up completely give up ki fail ho gaye uh, i am a failure i am shit ye wo khatam <laughs> so slowly i am learning this and i am trying to do this to my daughter but aisa nahi hai ki i am 100% success if she fails use nahi samajh mein aa raha to mujhe kabhi gussa bhi aane lagta hai ki yaar kyun nahi samajh mein aa raha usko <laughs> but your patience the way you do it i think that's fabulous fabulous I, you know uh, once i decided that okay so i mm-hmm. i gave 16 years of my life to companies okay mm-hmm. now i'm like now i i am at home doing this with these kids and now i should be having fun right mm-hmm. i mean i was driven by you know bosses and having to have numbers achieving targets mm-hmm. and all of those things for so many years and mm-hmm. i'm like all i want to do is just have fun <laughs> yeah okay wow so <laughs> um, what does a day in your life look like ki pure din aap log kya yahi karte rehte ho khelte rehte ho लगता तो ऐसे ही है वेल ऑफकोर्स नॉट ऑब्वियसली नॉट एंड माई किड्स आर किड्स सो दे हैव एज मेनी टैंकम्स एज एवरी चाइल्ड एंड वी हैव एज मेनी फाइट्स एंड यू नो दिस थिंग एज एवरी चाइल्ड सो दिस होल प्रोसेस पार्ट इज नॉट वेरी ईजी टू इनकल्केट इन चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज यू नो चिल्ड्रेन आर लाइक ओके आई कैन डू दिस आई एम डन राइट एंड आई एम गोइंग आई एम अवे फ्रॉम हेयर नाउ Mm-hmm. don't force me that kind of thing uh-huh. but then slowly you know it's it's also about modeling so i have been doing this for 3 years like just sitting with the kids and if we are doing something art i'm arting with them if we are playing i am playing with them so that kind of thing it's a very chilled out day i have no specific agenda during the day except for those you know couple of hours in the morning so how do you decide ki mujhe next day 
क्या करना है बिकॉज यू हैव टू किड्स ऑफ वेरी डिफरेंट एज ग्रुप्स तो डू यू चूज डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज फॉर देम या फिर एक ही चीज को दो दो अलग तरीके से करवाते हो आप um so uh then i think a month ago i used to do um the same thing but differently for both of them like i would give a stencil to the younger child or stamping to the younger child and do spray or something a little more messy and it's more challenging for the older guy mm-hmm. so he could just paint and draw or trace out something or something like that and uh, he still loves it to be surprising he's seven but he still loves it so <laughs> i'm hoping that you know interests Mm. but uh, yeah so they both even if i give them two different things they somehow combine it together and they figure out their own thing right mm-hmm. so i each of them would be doing their own thing for like 10 15 minutes and then of course that's what siblings are for if you kind of throw everything together mm-hmm. and come up with an entirely different thing that mom didn't even think of right <laughs> <laughs> so i have like a lot of things that go way out of what i actually planned mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's okay because i learned a thing or two like yesterday we were stamping um we were doing cardboard stamps it's called lithography so you mm-hmm. just cut out small um uh, shapes on cardboard and then print uh, print with those mm-hmm. right and then the o- older one came back from his school online school and he said hey um can i stick something I said okay so he uh, did some sticking and then it turned out like a bow so then they started stamping with that that was more like a you know a relief stamp or something Mm-hmm. So um finally it was like litho plus relief and the whole page was like covered with stamps and it was fun. Uh-huh. Nice. Mm-hmm. And wow. it kept them occupied for like half an hour which was good. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> I really need to come to your house to see <laughs> how do you do it all. Look, this is amazing. I'm so uh, uh I must say ki you are inspiring not just your kids but इंस्टाग्राम पे भी बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो देखते रहते हैं कि अच्छा ये ऐसे कर सकते हैं और देर आर यू नो मुझे आपकी फीड को देखकर ये फीलिंग आती है कि इट इज अबाउट लर्निंग इन अ फन वे इट इज अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग टू से बट आई थिंक यू आर वन ऑफ दोज पीपल हु रियली मेक इट कम ट्रू कि वो सही में हो रहा है रादर दैन बाइंग रेडीमेड किट और मे बी डूइंग अ वेरी स्ट्रक्चर्ड एक्टिविटी और समथिंग लाइक दैट जो आप कर रहे हो इट इज ट्रूली फन and i really admire that about you <laughs> i don't know admire see the thing is you know i for me if i had to go out and buy something it mm-hmm. really takes a fun out of it right i mean it's mm-hmm. a ready made thing it's there and there is one way for me to play with it like if i have an airplane i want to fly it right mm-hmm. but if i have 15 shells what do i do with those uh-huh. and so that it is really so it gets your mind thinking mm-hmm. so i'm a big fan of de bono and his lateral and you know those kind of thinking ideas mm-hmm. so to get your mind working on all sides you shouldn't be given anything on a platter right you should actually be able to look at something and imagine something else mm-hmm. and children yes. are very very capable of doing that so <laughs> so so true true that is so true. <laughs> <laughs> भी कोई अजीब सी चीज लेकर आएगी एंड शी नेम इट समथिंग एंटायरली डिफरेंट जो वो होगा ही नहीं प्रॉब्लम इज वेन वी नो वी एस पेरेंट्स वेन वी से स्कूलिंग इन एजुकेशन वी टेल नो 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 डोंटिसमीडियटली लाइक सो इफ आई डू इट दे आई एम रॉन्ग एंड आई डोट बी रॉन्ग नोबडी वॉन्ट्स टू बी रॉन्ग येस अब क्योंकि मैं ऐसा करती हूँ जैसे इश इट डज समथिंग कि ये ऐसे नहीं मुझे ऐसे करना है तो आई से कि नहीं ये ऐसे नहीं किया जाता है बिकॉज ये आपके स्कूल से आया है यू हैव टू डू दिस अ सर्टन वे लाइक नहीं मम्मा मुझे नहीं करना है लाइक ओके लीव इट लेकिन अगर करोगी तो स्कूल के तरीके से ही करोगी मत करो गो प्ले ओके सो डू यू हैव एनी सजेशन फॉर पेरेंट्स लाइक आस लाइक मी you know i don't know so for me it's like you know at till they are 10 i think they should just explore their imagination and let them mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. after 10 your children will automatically want to conform you know they'll see everyone is a circle and they'll be like oh my god i'm not a circle i i'm some kind of square <laughs> guy here and they'll be like no 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 no, no. I, make me a circle now right i mm-hmm. hear so much from parents ki i don't want to send them for this math olympiad but my child my daughter is telling me that everyone in our oh class god. is going so she uh-huh. has to go mm-hmm. And like, see, this is the problem, right? So mm-hmm. this is what we are doing to our kids. We are yeah. uh, fitting them into this hole that they may not really fit into, which is okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think it's just about not taking yourself too seriously. I mm-hmm. guess. 
Mm-hmm. And I have had a very unconventional education. I'm not an engineer. I'm not, you know, I'm not into anything that people would technically call um, successful. But <laughs> I mm-hmm. had a very successful career that nobody imagined would mm-hmm. happen. Mm-hmm. So in my family, in I mean, not my immediate family, but my extended family. So to me, it's like, you know, just because you fit into a mold that society calls successful, you're not really successful. And I had fun through my entire career, right? Uh-huh. And I expect my kids to choose something for themselves that allows them to have that fun. If your child is genuinely interested in math, mathematics, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean genuinely interested, not like you force them to learn something and they're doing it. Mm-hmm. And I think that makes a huge difference. If you're genuinely interested in a subject, you're going to really apply yourself to it. Mm-hmm. So that is another thing, right? You never teach your children that when you like something, you have to apply yourself to it. No, mm-hmm. we are telling them constantly, ki, apply yourself to everything. So how many things will they apply themselves to? We talk about stresses at our age. Mm-hmm. And these guys are like so stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, oh my God, what are we doing to our kids? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like someone was telling me, like mm-hmm. I was having this conversation, ki, you know, pe- children grow up not knowing what it is like to have fun. You know, what mm-hmm. it is like to just sit around and look at something or be bored. You know, mm-hmm. you, don't, you don't raise them like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we also come from us because even uh, we don't want to get bored. If you sit a little bit, it seems to be like you get a phone or uh, maybe uh, I will read something or uh, something. Uh, we cannot sit, right? How can we sit like this? It was probably not before, tha, but this problem is very common with our generation. And yeah. Idhaya uh, has at least seen that her mother is doing something every time. So now I uh, consciously try that when I eat food, I am not reading. Hmm. Nahin, what happens is that she लाएगी अपनी बुक एंड मामा मुझे पढ़ना है अब डिनर के टाइम पे शी विल हैव अ बुक इन हर हैंड कि आई एम ईटिंग एंड आई एम आल्सो लर्निंग अबाउट बॉडी एनाटॉमी कि खाना खाने पर क्या होता है आई लाइक यार भाई ओह गॉड इट्स क्रेजी एंड ये ये भी मैंने देखा है कि यू नो आई मीन वी टॉक अबाउट चिल्ड्रन व्हाट थ्री एंड फाइव हु कैन रिसाइट एवरीथिंग यू नो एनाटॉमी का जो भी है डाइजेस्टिव पार्ट्स ये by 7 they tend to forget because you know uh-huh. there are so many other things they are learning at that point yes that these things they've learned as little children don't uh-huh. really stay in their heads so i mean if they're interested of course it's great right but it's not yeah. great to talk about it because huh. at some point they're going to forget and move on exactly kyunki jo school mein sikhaya jayega they will start learning that ab meri bachchi ne interest dikhaya ki mama khana kaise khate hain kya hota hai to i got her that book i i only right. get her books jisme usko interest aata hai if she asks about ki mama stars kya hote hain to maybe i will get her a, a book about hmm. solar system hmm. but otherwise ki lo ye solar system padho ye abhi maine nahi kiya hai na agar book ghar pe hai na to ha if you have it nikal ke ha khud pe khud pad lete hain or they identify all that happens because they're really young children yes yes and their yes. minds are so empty that everything that goes in just gets stored it's like you know empty memory disks mm-hmm. so you're like everything is just going in mm-hmm. and then um, as they grow older there are lots of other things they get friends and then unke bare mein sochna padta hai and then they have games are ye kaun jeet raha hai wo kaun jeet raha hai ye mere mere se aage gaya ye aage nikal gaya so all those things start coming in slowly slowly and mm-hmm. you know these things that they read and all that it takes a back seat I'm not saying uh-huh. they completely forget it, uh-huh. but it takes uh-huh. a back seat, and then suddenly you're worried. Ki, you know, oh my God, my child knew all the moons, every every planet, <laughs> but now he can't say it. Like, it's okay, right? Yeah, he will yeah. say it again when he's eleven. He's gonna say it again. Yes, yes. So. <laughs> I think ये मेरी podcast का promo होना चाहिए जो ये episode का trailer. This line, what you just said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, seriously, no, no. I love this. What you just said. This is really profound, and मैंने कभी इस तरीके से नहीं सोचा था. मुझे थॉट आता था कि ये क्या काम आएगा बट नाउ व्हेन यू पुट इट दिस वे ना आई अंडरस्टैंड कि इट इज नॉट रियली नेसेसरी ठीक है अगर बच्चे का इंटरेस्ट है तो लेट देम डू इट बट अदरवाइज ठीक है इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तो भी ठीक है ठीक है यार आई मीन जब उनका टाइम आएगा तो वो खुद पे खुद दे लर्न अबाउट इट राइट Mm-hmm. Okay, so I really like the way your kids think. Actually, I even I think I told you in, uh, in on Instagram also that just be so stay na, but but whatever you write, that uh, hmm. this happened and my child said this. So I'm like, wow, how profound are your kids? <laughs> so I really uh, like that about you, your kids, the way you are raising them, raising them, and I think the conversation that it 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 was all about how you are raising your kid. 
किड्स और हाउ यू गेट फन एंड जॉय आउट ऑफ इट तो लास्ट में मौसमी हमें ये बताइए कि इफ अ चाइल्ड इफ अ पेरेंट इज रेजिंग अ बॉय तो इफ देर इज वन टिप यू वुड लाइक टू गिव दैम वट विल इट बी If there's one tip I would like to give them, I think as if you're a mom and you know you're the um, you're the first female role model they're gonna have in their lives, mm-hmm. I think it would be that be decisive, be strong. At least you know show them that you are equal to anybody else, mm-hmm. and show them that they have to treat you as such. Never mm-hmm. take anything less, and do not try to stereotype. Do not talk about stereotyping, fat shaming. Do not talk anything about ideas that stereotype mm-hmm. genders at home. Mm-hmm. I think okay. that's where the whole thing starts, right? Oh, my right. mom is in the kitchen. That's fine. Mom mm-hmm. is in the kitchen is great. Mm-hmm. But my dad is not in the kitchen. That is a problematic statement. So mm-hmm. at some point, have an equal relationship as well, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. make sure that you have spoken to your partner that you know it's important for both of us to model that equality at home, and mm-hmm. because that's where they're going to first see it. Yes. Because today boys have a very good role model, right? Many women drive. Many mm-hmm. women have jobs that were usually considered male dominated. Mm-hmm. Yes. And never apologize for being a woman or being in the kitchen. You don't have to apologize for it. Mm-hmm. Own it and make it as important as the dad's job, which is going outside the house or you know um, working outside of the house, right? Just make right. sure that your kids know what your role is in the family is as important as the male. मेल पार्टनर और मेल रोल मॉडल दे हैव वंडरफुल आई थिंक ये जो आपने पॉइंट्स बोले ये सभी मदर्स को करने चाहिए वेदर दे आर रेजिंग अ बॉय और अ गर्ल बिकॉज नो स्टेरियोटाइपिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड एनीवेयर राइट ओके मौसमी दिस दिस वाज अ वंडरफुल वंडरफुल कन्वर्सेशन एंड आई रियली लाइक जो भी आपने ओपनली बताया और मुझे अच्छा लगा आपसे बात करके एक्चुअली आई थिंक ये मेरी क्यूरियासिटी थी आपसे बात करने की कि वट आर यू डूइंग विद योर किड्स दैट्स आई आई इन्वाइटेड यू टू माई पॉडकास्ट एंड यू अग्रीड यू गेव मी मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स योर टाइम थैंक यू सो मच मौशमी Thank you, Madhi. Thank you for having this conversation with me, and thank you for listening. I think I spoke too much, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it was wonderful. Thank you so much. So, did you like it? I'm sure you did. And if you liked it, then you know that you can shout out to Little Mixes Podcast on social media. And yes, follow Mashmi on Art Venture Tales. I'll also link her handle in the description. For listening to the whole episode, thank you so much. And like this, you will be listening to all of our other episodes. And I'm sure you are finding value. And if you want to hear something new or a new topic, or if you want to invite a guest, then you can always DM me on Instagram at Little Fixes Podcast. Or you can also email me at Little Fixes Podcast at gmail.com. So let's go. We'll see you next Wednesday. Little Fixes Podcast is going to be our birthday. We're going to be 50 episodes. तो अ लॉट ऑफ एक्साइटिंग थिंग्स आर इन दी ऑफ एंड तब तक के लिए मजे करो और सदा सैसी रहो